Welcome to the CAD Teacher VDCI video for the eTransmit function. If you're taking any classes at CAD Teacher VDCI and are taking any classes for either AutoCAD or Civil 3D, you'll need to use this eTransmit function at some point. So what we want to go ahead and end up doing is this is just going to be a brief overview video of exactly how you do the eTransmit before you go ahead and actually submit your files for either your midterm or your final. So what I want to go ahead and do, and eTransmits are actually very simple. I'm going to go up to my file up here at the very top on my menu bar. So I go File, Pull Down. I'm going to go ahead and go to eTransmit. There we go. Now the reason why we want to go ahead and do eTransmits is because we have what we call external references or XREFs. If I were to just send this VDCI A201 to somebody right now, they would actually not see the floor plan because this is just a reference in here. It's not actually physically part of the VDCI A201 file. So if you get this little warning that says the current drawing is not saved, go ahead and hit yes. That's fine. And it'll go ahead and pop up with this window. Now what it does is it lets you know what we have going on here. So we have a JPEG being brought into this, a color table file, a plotter configuration file, and our external reference here for floor plan. If you're in higher classes, say such as CAD 301 or 302, you may have more external references here and that's perfectly fine. So I'm gonna go ahead, I hit okay. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna go ahead and create an actual zip file. When you save this for submission, what you can go ahead and do is go ahead and remove the word standard and replace it with your initials. So I've done that there. As you can see, I already do have a copy there. That's fine, I'll just override it, no big deal. But then I just go ahead and hit save. I'll get, yes, do you want to replace? Sure, why not? There we go. And it's now packaged that together. So now you go find that in your CAD 101 or your course folder where you're saving that information. And that is what you'll be uploading to the learning management system. I hope this video has provided informational and hopefully reminded you how to perform an e-transmit. See you in class.